She's bleeding seasick. Wake me up from there, Mickey. Turns your tick. What a great sleep. I was dreaming lovely. My heart is beating secret. If only you could hear. There's no reply from the wind or the rain. All yeah. your secret dreams. We put to sleep. Street. Why don't you piss off back to Ireland? We need a small sample from you, Mary, so if you can just take that along to the ladies. Margaret, your first appointment's here. Mary and her boyfriend. Hello, Mary. I'm Margaret. Hello. Nothing to do with me, Doctor. I'm clean. No way. Get up the yard. <laughs> well, you're both welcome to wait here. We'll come back. No, can't you wait? Well, go and see me sister. Get that sorted out first. Then we'll meet you back here, Mary, okay? Uh, 
How does it look? Like a bleeding bullet. A place to keep. A job. Money. It's a clean slate from now on, Bimbo, right? Clean, clean, right. What do you think you're looking at? If we're looking at you, we're not looking at much. Stay here. If my mother was here, you wouldn't say that. Give us your horns. You what? Give us your horns. Go on. Please. <laughs> if you decided to have the baby, can you support it? I can't support myself where I come from. Unless you win the lotto. How do you feel about having an abortion? Scared. If you don't want the baby, you don't have to have it. We're here to help you, if that is your decision. You know about the fees involved, the money. Lord off my sister's husband's auntie. I have to pay her back. She won't tell me parents. And I'll be back home before they even miss me. It's worth a try. If it works, we'll save two hundred and forty six pounds. Come on. Come on. Come on. <clears throat> Anything. Anything. Jesus. Try punching me. I tried that before. One last time. Come on, Bimbo. Harder! That wouldn't kill a flea. Here, let me. Oh, you tick skinhead! That horse is... Jesus. I'm only trying to help. I'll have to go through with it. Two hundred brick. Two hundred. I'll be a lifetime paying it back. You yeah, animal. A ride in a jumbo jet wouldn't have cost as much. Shut bleeding up! I've had it up to my tits. Hey, Mary. I'll operate on you. For 50 quid. I'll be dug out of you. I'm warning you. OK, OK, I'm only cotton with you. Cotton with you? It's all my it's fault. Right, I'm going to kill you, I am. I'll I'm only kill joking. You. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, three T's. Three T's. Got it? Yeah. One pound. 
Watch your language. That's all we've got. Can't help that, mate. We've walked lean miles. I can't help that, mate. I will stand them at Fred. Sit here. The pap of Mother England has dried up compared to former times. Is the dear old sod of Ireland similar? Better luck this time, Neville. Greetings. Uh. Pleasure, Paddy. Are you interested in work? Work, yeah. Oh. That's why we're here. Bimbo Burns. This is Mary. Mickey Malone. And what's your name, mister? Sir Stafford Cripps. Call me Neville for sure. Yeah, right, Neville. I can drive, and I'm not afraid of a shovel. Have you accommodation? Yeah. We're fixed up my sister, sort of. If not, this is my address, beside Elephant and Castle Tube Station. I will expect you. Good morning. Hello. Here you, Fred. Any chance of putting us up for the night and all, missus? We you keep on the floor or anything? No, I'm sorry, that's not possible. Or a shed out the back or anything, we've got a sleeping bag. There's a bed and breakfast around the corner if you're stuck. Can we have them biscuits? Mm, certainly. Take care of yourself. See you tomorrow. Thanks a million. See ya. Just come through here. Hello! What? How are you? Jeannie, Mac. What are you doing here? Come over with me, mate. How are you? Jesus. You just can't stay here. What? This is only for four and there's eight of us in it. Go home. I'm not taking responsibility. Go back home, bimbo. Does the man Dan know you're over? No. Thing is, see, he knocked his mop off, and we've come over with her for the operation. You dirty little runt. Who is she? Mary Kelly. What? Ah, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. You better go home. Any chance of a few quid? I'll pay you back as soon as I Any get... Any chance of a cup of tea? No, honest to God, the landlord, a frigger, he dumped a lot of us if you were caught. Go back home, bimbo. There's nothing here for you, I'm telling you. Go home. End of story. I don't know how I got caught. Always made him use protection. How did you get caught? Caught me. I'll tell you one thing, it's the last time I'll ever get caught. I made one mistake. Well, once this is all over, I'm going to be a nun. Sure. None tonight, none tomorrow, and none ever again. <laughs> what worries me? Supposing you died. Do you think you could die? Mickey! Mickey! Mickey, will you look at me? Mickey!
course he's here. The lights are. I think I can see him. What's he doing? I don't know. Here. You getting down? Let me down. Come on. I was expecting you sooner. Come in. Footwear must not be worn in the bedroom. Breakfast will not be served before 7 a.m. And if you were thinking of starting anything, buddy, I would advise against it. What? We just want a kit, mate. Call me Neville. Neville. History is a blind eye winking all over us. The human body is a crude mouth. The soul of I is superior to sky height. When God made the world, he made two mistakes. Man and woman. I agree with what you're saying, one hundred and ten percent. Just show us to our beds. No bollocks. Follow me up. Here we are. That is yours. And this is mine. And where do I sleep? In here with me. You will be all right. You will have your sleeping bag. You will be in it. Good night, Bimbo. You'd be very foolish, Paddy, if you started anything. Kindly do not waken me up again. What? You had your hand on me whole, feeling all over. The... Don't be silly, Paddy. You were only dreaming. I am not interested in sex at all. Everyone who knows I know that. So do the police. What do you want that hatchet for? In case of fire or sexual attacks. Good night, Paddy. Will you be able to give us work, Neville? Head the ball. Don't know. Look here, what? Smashing. No breakfast. The teapot is malfunctioning. Here's two pounds that will get you your tube fare to Victoria. Fair play to you, Neville. My name is Enoch. What about the work you said you get us? The dog of Mother England is not so juicy now. Now the white man is the burden. Go and do not return. Hurry. You're a bleeding space, or never, or whatever your poxy name is. God is good. 
You must have legitimate food and an address here in London. We stayed with Sir Stafford. Enoch. Neville. Are you under 18? Yeah. Well, in that case, you don't qualify for benefit unless you agree to go on a youth training scheme. I trained as a labourer. Full shovel work. Spade work. Cement mixing, wagging a paintbrush, yard brush, sweeping brush, toothbrush, shaving brush, any bleeding kind of brush! Just a couple of quid. Till we get a job. I'm trained as a jockey, but the stables was closed down with the Arabs. How much is that worth? <laughs> Should have had a fiver on him. If I had a fiver every time you said that, I'd be a bleeding millionaire. Look at Stop it! Excuse me, sir. I'm wondering if you're interested in pushing me right up the set player. It's a perfect joke and perfect work in order. You can pick up any station in the world on it. Fifteen quid, and it's yours, sir. You can have it for ten. You can pick up any station in the whole world on it. And she's battery operated as well. Me mother gave it to me, but we don't need it anymore because we got one each already. Ten quid. She died of cancer. It's all right, Mary. Don't worry. You're in very safe hands. It won't be long now. What? Dying with the cramps. Felt worse after the dentist. Well, as long as you're not bleeding. Are you bleeding? Of course I'm bleeding. The world's full of abortions. And most of them going around with two legs. How are you? All the better for seeing you. Is it over, have you? Yeah, it's over. Yeah? Ah, Jay, that's great. No, I'm half left. Any chance of getting a bed here for the night? The only bed you're getting from now on is a nettle bed. My belly's bleeding, killing me. Yeah, my belly's bleeding, starving. All our money's gone on poxy chew first. Getting a wedge in this town is not easy. You know, you see a lot of people carrying umbrellas around here. Well, I hope it keeps fine for you, Bimbo. And the buses are red, not green. Don't blind us with signs, will you not? What are you doing, Mary? Go now. I have to, have to get home. My parents will be missing me. That's not a good idea, Mary. Any chance of a steak sandwich, nurse? You'll get a sandwich, all right, a knuckle sandwich. Look, I don't think you should go. We can't help you in Ireland. We'll help you, Mary. Good luck, girls. Thanks for everything. Good luck, Mary. Take care of yourself.
It's not a tooth. My belly's an empty pit now. It was a mortal sin, so it was. I could have gone through with it. You said you couldn't go through with it. That's the whole point. It's why we're here, sure. Look, calm down. Let's not lose the head entirely. A bit of me was cut out of me. Evacuated your pox bottle. I'll be dug out of you one of these days, so I will. Jesus, Mary, go easy. You're just a bit upset. Upset? Upset? You don't understand nothing, Bimbo, do you? Hold it, Mary. Come on, now. Now's not the time for this. It is no bigger in your belly than a finger now. You said so yourself. I'll help pay back the money when I find work. You couldn't find your face in a mirror. The money's nothing to do with you, Mickey. It was my fault. I'm the one's gonna pay for it, not you. I will pay for it. <laughs> Go kill myself. I feel empty, you know? Look. What we need is a cup of tea. Calm things down. Get the tea then. It's the last to get into our back in Dublin. Uh, thing is, see, me and Bimbo, we're not going back to Dublin. We're staying. I was plotting to get rid of me when I was having my belly ripped out of me in that clinic. We were planning it all. I've sacrificed myself for you, for both of you. Gosh, Mary. You go home now, and we'll send you the money when we get fixed up here. When we get a gap in a job. It's for your own good, Mary. You're not getting rid of me as easy as you got rid of our child. I shut fucking up, will you? I could have walked away from you any time. Don't let on you're a little saint. You walk Bimbo into it, and then you walk me. Bimbo's my best pal in the whole world. Nothing gets in the way of me and Bimbo, right? You weren't thinking of him the night you slept with me. Oh, I was, I was, yeah. jumped into black. She jumped into a taxi. She took off. I couldn't stop her. And it's where used to to get the train home. She's gone, Bimbo. Mary's gone. So what's all the panic? Cops. Someone shouting. They thought. Mary's gone, Bimbo. Gone home. God. That fits the bill perfect, Mickey. 
She never even said goodbye. He's bleeding gratitude for you. Can we get the bread together? I'll send for her. I'll look after you, bimbo. I'll make it up to you. I swear it. It's me and you from now on, bimbo, right? Me and you. She jumped it. I love her really deep. She doesn't realise that. Home's the best spot for her. Until we get set up. Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah. We get work. Work. <laughs> I just got enough for chips. bottles on that, what? You're my best friend, Bimbo. Good crack, what? Jaggy. Yeah. Any man blocks me and I'll beat the shoes off. Oh, <laughs> you name him, I'll beat him. Would you beat Mike Tyson? Does he work for Wimpy? I'd work for Wimpy. Is that who you work for? Get him. Do. I built this man's town. He and my father before me. You couldn't get us to start, could you? <laughs> Stand outside the station with the rest of the latch, of course. Seven in the morning. Take your chances. That monkey there'd be safer back up in the zoo. He's done nothing! It was me! He's done nothing! He wasn't even there! I'm innocent! Nicky, don't go! He wasn't there! Let him go! He wasn't there when she jumped! It was me! Jesus! 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 What did I do? I did not! You robbed that old lady blind! What did you do with the money? As God as me judge, I know no old lady. Oof. I saw the radio because said that's all. You're not a nice man. You're not a nice boy, Paddy. Now, own up. Or do you want Johnny to break your arm? I confess if I could, but I can't, so I won't. Oh, only God help me. I come home with me girlfriend, I'm telling you, for the operation, that's all I know. God strike me dead. Okay, Paddy. You can go. Yeah? What about the radio cassette? If it's not in the book, you can sling your hook. Mickey! Bimbo! 
Did they charge you with anything? The box bottles. They said I raped and robbed an old one. Yeah? And did you? <laughs> ah, you're a pal. Where are we sleeping tonight? Under the stairs. What? Get up. <laughs> if you need us, we're just next door. I lost everything. I don't remember much. In which part of Ireland? We'll hold it. Can we find a home for you? No, thanks. When I get work off the phone. What kind of work? Come on. You get a good night's sleep. And we'll talk in the morning. Give us a day and I'll prove it. We can't take the car soon. He can work like fuck. He can make the tea and all. He used to be a boxer. I rode him at the curry. We work for the same pay as one. 40 pounds a pair of you. 50. 40 you can fuck off. All right. Cheers. Find the space. Do I look stupid? You look lovely. <laughs> and if, if anyone comes to the door, um, salesmen, burglars, <laughs> just give them a big Irish scream and send them running, yes? And we'll talk this evening. I could use a house sitter. Are you interested, Mary, really? I am. I can babysit as well. Well, uh, not in this house you can't, but there are some some mothers around, so... So I see. Come on, Mum! Well, I'd better dash. We all get back about six. Man, don't wear them. Oh, yes. oh, yes. Your mate's holding you back. It's all right. I look after it. <laughs> <laughs> Good crack, what? Damn it.
dub. A pair of Dublin cross. Uh, starving is good. You hear the work or you die? Ah, they don't die nowadays, no. They get the hand out. I never signed on in my life. Will you deny me that? Oh. Why should men be giving money without working for it? Answer me that. I never asked to be born. Ah, it was a good job you didn't, because you wouldn't have been given permission. <laughs> That's all. A lousy pox bottle. Thanks, you're a pal. You carried me all day. I'll carry any day, Bimbo. Never fear. Come on, we get some grub. Excessive, perhaps. Marion, I think it would be best for you if you went back home to Ireland. How much does it cost? Fifty pounds? Come on, I'll, I'll take you to Euston. I haven't got fifty pounds. Well, I'll give you the money, Mary. I think we've decided that we don't really need a house sitter after all. I wanted to clean it up. Paint it new, you know. What time does the boat train leave? I leave myself. Don't need driving. Of your eyes, that's worse bad luck than a magpie. Jesus, calm down. Maybe only saw a doll, a child's doll. Yeah, maybe. No, it was flesh, flesh, like in the worst bad dream. Sure, it's all the bottle and the milk gone all sour. It was all pink, pink. Are you a bleeding spacer or what? I'm telling you, it was nothing. Get some of this down you. All that digging's done your brain. Yeah, you're right, Bimbo. Game ball head. Here's the lucky one. 
gone home at all this? What if she hasn't gone home? What if something happened to her? Mary, you don't know her like I know her. Tough as nails, Mary. I do know her, Bimbo. I'm not saying you don't know her. I know you know her. I'm saying she'll be all right. I know her. Remember the occasion to which you refer. My name is Lord Sofa. Call me Winston. Good night. Tonight, all right? This one's mine.
sorry. No trouble, sir. All ship shape. You hold me! Mary. What's up, man? You're on the head. Mickey. That night, you, me and Mary went to the Holy Well. And you went off with a drink. Behind your back, Bimbo, I kissed her. Sure, I know that. Mary told me you kissed her. <laughs> There's no harm in that. This town's doing your head. Come on. What's wrong with you? Come on. Terrible nightmare! And I was naked in the street! I'm not cutting you! Bollock naked in the street! For real? Yeah. I dreamt I rode a winner at the Cura. Huh? I'm serious, Bimbo! The head. You're gonna have to empty it of all the dirt and secrets, huh? Oh, knackered. <sighs> Plenty of places to keep in London. Just a shortage of beds. <laughs> oh, my back's killing me. Drops from the ocean, huh? Where are you from? Dublin, Father. The policeman sent us here. Have you fallen out with soap and water? <laughs> You're in luck. Two lads have just left. Yeah. We'll sort you out in the procession. You can stay. 
for a couple of weeks only until you land on your own two feet. We have our own chapel for Mass. Thanks, Father. You may travel from Clare to the county Kildare, from Wigan right down to Macroom. But I know where you'll see a fine widow like me, Billy Mulligan, the pride of the Coomey boys, Billy Mulligan, the pride of the Coomey Down the world looks the same. It's the nurse I'll ever get to Australia. Have you got some change? Tell you, darling. Lovely day. Please give generously. All the money will go to a good call. Drink, drugs, massage parlors, abortion. Ah, go on, son. Ah, thanks very much, Rissa. And your wife Thank looks clean, you gorgeous and all. I'd like to ride home myself. Honest to God. Ladies and gentlemen. For one hundred pounds, I'll put me out for one performance only. Ah, oh, come on. Real blood is what you want, isn't it? Come on, so. real blood is what you want. How much? Two quid. Bombing in and out here and there. Be cool. Then I fell pregnant. So like, you know, pressures again, clapped out again. What happened to the baby? He says it's legal! He says it's not legal! He's going to twist my brain! Death, dealers and scandal, I say! Not legal! He says it's Shut legal! Shut up, you'll tell your mind all tell you. Not legal! My dad threw me out. You're from London and you're homeless, isn't it? Don't matter where you're from. When you've got to go, you've got to go. I don't wash. That way the cops leave you alone. Oh, come here. Thanks. My boyfriend. I was going out with him for about two years. At school and all. We went at night to the Holy Well. We slept together there. One night his friend came with us. Boyfriend went off to get a few cans of beer. His friend rolled over on top of me and I let him. That's why I felt pregnant and convinced. In the graveyard. There's hostels you can get into, you know. But they got rules. I don't mind her. It's full of mad people, England. It's a mental home from start to finish. Morning, boys. Two labourers required at reception. First come, oh. sir. Jeez. Get up, get up. Get up. Get up! Get up! Two men. Me and me mate, sir. Dripping our wallpaper. Yeah. Painting decoration. Thirty pound a day. Is it cards? Insurance. Or into the hand? Yeah, into your hand. Joe's gone, mate. Go back to bed. Ole, ole, 
Lay oh, lay oh, lay. Ooh, ah, palm of grass. Say ooh, ah, palm of grass. Arlen, Arlen. Twelve days. Twelve to break a day. That's 360 each. Oh, lay oh, lay oh, lay oh, lay. Look, that's all I ever wanted. Start clean, you know, and fight the head. There must be discos around here, you know, we might get ourselves a nice mop. Yeah. Forget about it, Mary, huh? <laughs> Best thing, Bimbo. That's a past life. This from now on is a brand new one. Put on the pig's back. Why look backwards? Look forwards into the future like a spacecraft. You know something, head the ball. I think I'm right. Yeah. There's something. Wait. Jam is what? Oh, remuneration. It means wages. Once you see that, you know it's pittance. Come on. No. I'm going to try this. Yeah? Thanks a lot. I told you I'd look after you, you pox bottle. We're elected. This is the crack, huh? I'd better go in and get that stripper ready for a turn. Yes, our lovely. Gorgeous. Like a pair of trotting ponies. Yeah? Jeez. I'll drink my tea out of your bra. <laughs> Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took the bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup, gave it to his disciples and said, take this, all of you and drink it this is the cup of my blood the blood of the new and everlasting covenant do this in memory of me so the captain said to me from now on you shall be known as bugger lugs Brearley. the name stuck you call me major what do i have to do Prepare food. Feed my wife, who's an invalid. She's away at the moment. I shall call you Pet Lamb. How's about that? She's not here, so I'll come back to... No, no, no. By no means here you are, and here you stay. I'll show you to your quarters. Oh, oh thank you. Thank you, dear. Oh! That's better. There. Thank you. This is my wife's. Until she returns, you will sleep there. What's the remit the way to Oh, we'll discuss that in the morning, Petlam. Now I must work. But he was hurt at working for you, Mr. Borky. Insurance or no insurance. I mean, his face is up like a baboon's arse. What? The fair home? He's not going home. He doesn't want to go home. No way, Mr. Borky. No! Well, can we carry on with doing the work for you, then? Please. And no job. Now well, you can see me now. I think the best thing is for me to split. Come back when I'm better. Well, hang on to your hat. Uh, Go home. You'd only be upsetting her. 
thing is, see, there's something. Maybe she didn't go home. Maybe she's in Australia. She could be dead for all we know. Don't be bleeding thick. Daddy dead. I could have been. Put her in your mind, Bimbo. You'll not see her again. For ages. I'm telling you. Once women go, they're like bubbles. They never come back. I'm telling you. Ah, you bollocks, I hoard it. When I let the shining cool down before I opened it. The doctor said I'm not scared for life anyway. Thank God. I was lucky. You were lucky. Could have been blinded. You know what? What? Your face does look like a baboon's arse. <laughs> what? What, Major? What's happened? It's all right. It's all right, Pepper. Um, I, I, I was only bidding good night. Oh, come back, pet lamb. You little whore. In my car. Sorry, uh, uh, nowhere to go. You're right. No trouble. Sorry, mister. Do you live somewhere? No, mister. Thanks, mister. Can I help? Labourers outside. Have they been in? Ah, oh, they might have gone round the cab. They've got their wages, see. They arranged to meet them in here. Yeah, come on! Bob and a horse. I've got the wages. Can you sign for them? Are you Maguire and Rose? No. I'm Jim Dorkin. I mean, I'll sign for them if you want. If you wait, though, he'll be back in a few minutes. I can't wait. I've got to get back. I am due at the town hall. Oh, really? You walk, you know? You hold that, will you? Six hundred, six hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, 
750, 800, 850, 900, 950, 1,000 pounds. That's 500 brick each. Ole, 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 ole. Slap up meal, drink, new clothes, new men. If you hadn't got your face burnt, this would never have happened. Yeah, yeah. Thank God. This means we can send the money back to Mary to come back over. We're elected. We'll go back to the hostel and you can write the letter for me. Now, hold on there. No, Mickey. We'll get the new gear on the way. This is a gift from the gods. Olay, 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 olay. Yes, 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 yes. Dear Mary, my love, I hope you're well, and that this letter finds you as it leaves me. But you can't put that in it. It's my letter. My face is all right now, after a bad fright with a stripper. The 50 notes is for your fare back here, as we had a stroke of good fortune. The crack here is deadly. And I'm sharing a room with a certain pox bottle, you know. <laughs> I love you, Mary. I love you, Mary. And long to hold you in my... Embraces. Didn't know you were wearing any. Huh? Nothing. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to see you, darling. Bimbo. Bimbo. I'll post it tomorrow. But supposing she's... Supposing she's... Have you been drinking? Have you got alcohol hidden in here? No, father. Honest to God, father. Well, what's that smell? Only the socks drying, father. Now, you know the rules. Any drink in the rooms and you're out. Oh, are you coming down to watch the match? Oh, yeah, father. S smart. Where'd you get the money? A little bit of luck on the horses, father. Oh, yes. Just as long as you didn't steal it. No, far. one of them for the police. Are you game? Come on. There's more of us than there is of them. It just burst into me head. The poor bleeder. Is he dead, Bimbo? Is he dead? Nah. He's probably only fatally wounded. That's the same thing, you tick! You're a tick! You're the one who's done it! A bit of slagging, that's all they were doing! Yeah? 
Well, there's more now to be mocked. Mary. That's what's inside me head. Tormenting the Jesus life out of me. Mary. Yeah. But we'll have to run off home now before we're arrested. Everything going grand. Give me back the letter. No point in sending it now. There's no point in sending it at all. Mary's dead. That's what I've been trying to tell you. The day after the abortion, when you went off to get the tea, we had a row and she jumped into the Thames. She didn't get a taxi at all. As God as me judge, she's drowned. She must have floated out to sea by now. I was too shocked to say anything. The inside of my head is eaten alive with it. Mary's dead. The cockney's dead at all. I'm fucking fucked. Sorry, Bimbo. Mary dead. Are you cotton? Oh, me mother's sacred Graham. She jumped into the river. Oh, I'm sorry, Bimbo. She can't swim a stroke, can she? You didn't put your dingy a big You're me friend, please. Bimbo. I'm sorry, I couldn't do nothing about it. <laughs> but there's worse than that. <laughs> Up in the graveyard. By the holy well. One night, me and her made love. You may as well hear it all now. No. I slept with her. No. I hate myself for going behind your back. No. We did it the once. I've ruined everything. Every time I try to help, it always goes wrong. <laughs> sorry, Bimbo. No. Really, really, really sorry. No. <laughs> oh. <coughs> you fucking bastard! You bastard! Me. You, you bastard! You what you did you do to me? me? You bastard! <coughs> what did you do to me? You bastard! You fucking me! You fucking bastard! Oh, what did you do to me? <coughs> One for the Cockney. One for the Cockney, God. One for Mary. This is another one I did. This is called pomegranate. I love your pomegranate lips. 
your juicy smile. I love your pomegranate hips. But most of all, I love your pips. <laughs> Sorry, it's really funny. Got him in. I told it's good. I used to own a motorbike. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Why aren't his mother and father here? They'll be at Dublin Airport to receive him.
I glad to see you. I thought you were drowned. Dead? No. Tired as out. Oh, Mary! I'm so glad to see you. You alright, Nicky? Don't tell me. Bimbo's gone home, right? Yeah. Bimbo's gone away home. <laughs> I'll tell you about it. Well, I'm so glad to see you. I can't believe it's you. Yeah. I'm glad to see you too. <laughs> Pox bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going home? No. We'll stay. I prefer it here. Here nobody knows your name. <laughs> oh, Mary, this London's a wonderful sight. With the people here working, be day and be night. They don't sell potatoes, nor barley, nor wheat. But there's gangs of them digging for gold in the street. At least when I asked them, that's what I was told. So I just took a hand at this digging for gold. But for all that I found there, sure I might as well be where the mountains are moan sweep down to the sea. My dreams, they are broken, my hopes, they are gone. With the cruel wind that brings in the cold light of dawn, my eyes are blown open as wide as can be where once I was blinded it's now I can see the streets they are crowded you're standing alone and the truth when it finds you it cuts to the bone and the pain in your heart though it won't let you be when you're lost in this city at least then you're free there's beautiful girls here ah, never mind with beautiful shapes nature never designed and lovely complexions all roses and crape but oh Lachlan Ramart with regard to the same that if at those roses, you venture to sip. The colours might all come away on your lip. So I'll wait for the wild rose that's waiting for me. Where the mountains, the morn, sweep down 